we do have the deliverability kit, which is a, a pretty sweet new uh, feature empowered by email console. Uh, so first of all, I can just check if my domain and my IPs are on some block list, and they're not. Uh, it seems like I'm, my domain is not block listed, which is which is awesome. Um, I can just I could just paste, copy paste IPs or domains here, or just type them. Uh, it can be both IPs and domains, and Bouncer will just uh, separate the IPs from domains. And so that's uh, that's the cool stuff. And uh, I can perform actually a deliverability test. So uh, so my um, move sends deliverability test. Uh, and um, I can right now configure my test. So decide of how many different email addresses I want Bouncer and Email Console to generate for me so that I'm going to send a message to them. And uh, I usually recommend the regular or full because it gives you good granulation. Uh, like you've got like 10 um, uh, email addresses from Go, Yahoo, and, and the, the main email service providers. So then if if one email address lands in spam, you do not, you do know that it's like around 10% of your kind of spam rate. Well, landing in the spam, it's 10% emails only. Because uh, if you would just uh, run like a very simple check of one um, one email address per, in, per email service providers, then you would, wouldn't be able to tell. Uh, if if it lands in the spam, it might be just that it's just ten percent or hundred percent, so it's hard to tell. So I recommend to to run the regular test or or light if you if you um, wish to just play around first. Um, let's do the the regular one. Let's create a test and uh, and I've got the email addresses that I'm supposed to send my message to. So I'm just copying the email addresses. And I'm going to move send. I'm going to just create a new list. Um, deliverability test. And uh, I'm going to add members in bulk. Just going to paste it here. Uh, yeah, I do have consent because those are like test email addresses. And it's just email. Um, um, I don't need to be notified, uh, and it's gonna yeah, probably uh, it's gonna take a moment, um, but uh, I believe it's gonna be like it should be relatively uh, relatively quick. Um, so um, so in the meantime, I can I can actually show you uh, that. From here, Bouncer and Email Console will just wait for 72 hours for the message. So you do have time uh, to perform that kind of test. And if you would go to uh, continue, we're, we're going to be kind of waiting for those 80 emails. You can open the report to see what's going to be the kind of the, uh, the format of it. And in the meantime, I hope that the, um, yeah, the, the import will, yeah, I've got 81 uh, subscribers already and at the deliverability test. So what I'm gonna do very quickly is let me just start a campaign, create a new campaign. It's gonna be just a regular campaign. Uh, I'm, you, you could use awesome like predefined templates from Musan, but I'm kind of a minimalistic type of a guy. So I'm gonna go with the plain test text and uh, Black Friday, let's say, uh, campaign, subject line, it's how we roll for Black Friday. And uh, I'm going to send it from my account that I've got at Moosense. Uh, yeah, and I'm just going to go next. So I'm going to choose the 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 email list. Of course, I could like if I had uh, the design first and I had the the message uh, created before, uh, I could use it and you could kind of test different messages that you have just to see what's your deliverability. But here I'm just gonna um, uh, type a simple 
message hello uh, i'm so pleased to tell you that we skip black friday we make whole november black cheers Kata. um so this is like a simple message that i'm i'm gonna send there have been a couple of typos probably and i want it to be sent now uh yeah everything is kind of ready so i'm just pressing send uh it will take like musand is just giving me 30 seconds to uh to kind of, kind of cancel it uh if i realize that you know i made the mistake uh, so yeah, probably in 30 seconds, the, uh, the message will be, uh, will be sent. It's right now ready to be sent. So we need to wait a bit, uh, just in case we want to cancel it because we realized that we, we messed the, the message or audience or whatever. Um, so the report here is waiting. The bouncer screen is as well waiting for those, uh, those 80 messages. Okay. Musen is sending it right now, and probably very soon. Uh, yeah, the messages are sent, so probably we should be we should start seeing uh, some messages coming in um, here. Not yet. Uh, they're flying, and in a in a bit they they should be here. Uh, so we'll see. You know what's what's our deliverability actually. Uh, yeah, they started to uh, to be coming so far. The progress four percent, three percent inboxing. Uh, it's uh, probably the, the 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 same results should be reflected in a bit also inside Bouncer. Uh, so uh, so it seems like okay, almost almost ready. Uh, we see that yeah, uh, for the main uh, email service providers we're good, but there are some that actually message uh, or messages landing in the spam folder. Uh, so we've got Yandex, which is not kind of surprising because uh, um, Yandex, I don't have any um, people with whom I communicate that I do use Yandex, so Yandex doesn't know me. So that's why all the messages are being delivered to spam. Uh, but also it seems like uh, the iCloud, some iCloud messages are uh, landing in spam. It might be uh, because of the fact that that actually the um, uh, well the message wasn't crafted with the highest quality, and uh, because there have been some uh, yeah uh, well typos and maybe some spam words as well. So that's why some of the messages landed the spam. It might, sometimes it might take a uh, few minutes, especially uh, with some email providers, but in general, um, everything uh, everything looks okay. So as you can see, we can also see if we are block listed, in, if the SPF is correctly set up, DKIM and DMARC, and uh, you're as well able to uh, to say, uh, you know, how, how good are you in, in inboxing? And as I said, it made you know different results may may uh, well different different aspects may come into play both if it comes to your reputation but also the message it, it is there is so sometimes if you will see that you are actually landing in the spam folder uh, for some main for example uh, email service providers it might make sense to uh, to whether use the the postmaster uh, Google postmaster uh, Microsoft SMDS uh, or other tools or reach out to deliverability experts for example like um, Yana Tori or uh, or Sarah to help you figure out what would have been uh, the issues or you can actually um, if you will see like a lot of reds here. Well, first of all, check if the SPF, DKM, DMARCs are correct, if you aren't block listed in any way. But as well, um, it might make sense to run several tests, like one by one, just starting simple. Like first start with the, just maybe sending directly from your, um, from your um, mailbox 
or just send very very simple message that you know that have been inboxing using using the your tool uh, your ESP uh, then um, gradually um, add the, the portions of the message that might uh, be be risky and uh, and see you know which messages are landing in spam and which are not because um, there may be re things related to, to the content like recently I had a, one of our um, customers had the deliverability issues they've been uh, their reputation was really good uh, but their messages were landing in the um, in the spam folder and what when we did analyze it deeply uh, we realized that actually it was about the message and um, they actually created a message in the word document and copied it and put it you know and sent it from their gmail um, but the HTML was so dirty that the HTML that kind of was created by by Word uh, that that was copied and pasted into Gmail, uh, including the changes of the fonts in in, in the meantime, the message was just uh, look, looked spammy from the perspective of the quality of the HTML, and just correcting that helped a lot uh, with deliverability.